Welcome back to the Shotcut Masterclass here on my channel, guys. If you're interested in video editing, videography, and how to make money making videos, subscribe now. This right here is the Shotcut Masterclass. We're breaking down everything there is to know about the great beginning video editing software, Shotcut. This episode right here is going to be the tools and shortcuts, and this is episode number two. If uh, you, know, you want to join the full playlist, start watching everything, click the link for the full playlist down below in the description. The full Masterclass, completely free, so you can join in with the other lessons as well. Like I said, this is just lesson number two. Without further ado, we're going to be jumping over to Shotcut, which is on my screen, and we're going to be breaking down the tools and shortcuts, not all of them, but definitely what I'm going to deem as the most important ones. And, uh, you know, in the last episode, we actually familiarized ourselves with the layout and imported our first clip. So how do we actually go about doing some tools and shortcuts and what is going to be the most important stuff? Now, first off, if I actually just trim this down a little bit by doing this, I want to just show you something that is extremely important, and that is this right here, toggle snapping. Make sure at all times throughout your work, you have toggle snapping on. Now that right there is off. So if it's white, it's off. If we click it, it's blue and it's on. The reason you want toggle snapping on is because toggle snapping is this. So for example, if I drag a clip down here and I let it go right here and I drag it over, you see how it snaps in. See? Snaps. It snaps by attaching to the clip following on so that we don't have any random, uh, you know, little you know, little gaps where it's just the screen turns black between clips or anything like that. And this ensures, you know, everything just snaps together. And, and, you know, as soon as one clip finishes, it cuts to the next one. You know what I mean? Which is standard at all times you want snapping on. If you don't have snapping on, for example, we could try and port a clip and we, you know, we drag it here and it doesn't snap, you see? So we, we'd actually have to zoom, we'd actually have to zoom in, you know what I mean? Which is a complete pain. We'd have to do this and, and try line it up perfectly. Uh, instead, we could just turn snapping on and then just drag it over a bit and it snaps into place perfectly. So that is pretty important, pretty straightforward, just to make sure, uh, you know, you're completely caught up on that one. That's really important to keep that on at all times. Now, just to start on the actual, you know, side, let's go ahead and actually start looking at how we'd actually do some stuff. So first off, a super simple, um, you know, shortcut is going to be the copy paste. Now the copy paste is simply C and then you, uh, you know, you press C on the clip you want to copy. For example, this one, we press C and then we come over, you know, right here, it snaps to the end, and we just simply press V. And that is gonna just basically paste the clip that we've, that we've actually copied right here to the actual right-hand side. And of course, snapping is enabled, so it's gonna snap straight to where we want it to be. Very, very simple, very, very useful though. Now, there's another way to do that more or less, and that is the duplicate. Now, duplicate is obviously gonna duplicate the clip. It sort of does the same as copy, but you can actually go on a clip and just press A. And it's going to duplicate that clip to the end, right? Real, real simple, really, really, really simple and uh, pretty straightforward. Now, hypothetically speaking, say we had two different clips right here and, uh, you know, we wanted to delete this one and just bring this one over, right? Um, but we wanted to not keep this in this space. Um, say we wanted to delete it. If we deleted this one right here, we deleted the first clip, it's still got this space right here and we have to actually drag the clip physically over, which could be a little bit annoying, right? So hypothetically speaking, if we wanted to delete this and this just teleports right here and comes to the beginning and uh, kind of does the process of deleting that and bringing this over for us, all we do is go here and we do a ripple delete and a ripple delete is the key X. You see how that instead of, uh, you know, pressing the delete key, right? And just deleting it, which just creates the space here that we, you know, awkwardly have to drag the clip over. If we actually just press X, that is going to be ripple delete and ripple delete deletes what's here and deletes the actual space instead of just delete, which deletes the clip, but does not delete the space. X deletes the clip and deletes the space, brings everything over. So. It's looking very, very, very cool. And then arguably the most important tool that is here is S, and that is the razor tool. For S, you all you wanna do is go to a place in the clip where you wanna split it. For example, um, let's go ahead and play this. So we're walking up, let's actually find where we wanna split it. And I'm actually gonna split it probably around the, probably around the five second mark. You see how up here we can see the timer? And I'm actually just gonna go to the five second mark and now I'm gonna press S and it's gonna split the, the, the clip exactly where my actual um, scrub, my scrub uh, thing is. I, I'm not too sure what the exact name for this is, cursor or whatever, right? And it's actually gonna split it down the middle. Then we could go here and just delete that. And uh, you know, simple. Or we could go here to the first clip and you know, press X, the ripple delete, and it would pull it over and just start from where we've actually chopped. But I like that beginning bit. So I'm actually gonna delete the secondary bit. 
and have this one right here. But that right there is what I would deem to you guys as the most important shortcuts. Um, and all your tools are manually gatherable right here. So for example, if you wanted the razor tool, you could actually just, you know, select it and uh, it would add a split. But like I said, I've just showed you the shortcuts just to speed everything up. And uh, you know, that right there is pretty, pretty cool. So we have gone over the tools and shortcuts overall. Um, everything's looking pretty smooth. We've chopped out a nice five second section. So we've actually started to compose stuff down here together. And that right there concludes episode number two of the Shotcut Masterclass going over the tools and shortcuts. In the next episode, we're gonna be jumping into a juicy one going over all of the advanced effects, advanced transitions, and basically doing a little bit more on the composition side as well. So loads of important stuff coming up next. If you finish this episode right here, check out the full playlist down below in the description. The next episode will start playing right after this. Thank you guys for watching and I'll see you in the next episode.